Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have some amazing news. Samsung One UI 2 Beta is now available for Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and the S10e. And what I have right here, I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that is in fact running One UI 2 with Android 10, and this one is running One UI with Android 9, so this is the old version. I'm going to show you guys what has changed, some of the new features, and the modifications that came with this One UI 2 beta update. So let's go to the settings real quick. I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna go into the about phone. I'm gonna go to the software information. And as you can see, this is the One UI 2.0 version and it's Android 10. Now when I go to the settings over here and if I go all the way down, if I go to my about phone and if I go to my software information, that's One UI 1.1 and Android version 9, so we have a brand new upgrade right on this side. So let's see some of the things that have in fact changed on this phone. Now really quickly, if I pull down the notifications panel, it's almost the same, but you'll see that we have the media and the devices buttons at the bottom here. And when we click this button on the side, we do have a new option. So on the old version, we have three settings. On the new one, we have the quick panel layout. So if you click this one, it allows you to show the brightness on top and also show media and devices uh, at the bottom here and of course the brightness slider on top when you pull this down it shows up right here so that is now configurable from the quick panel layout normally you would have to press this button here and then the show control on top shows up right here and then the brightness slider uh, as you can see, it goes up here and here, okay? Now, the next thing that I've noticed over here, if you go to the settings, let's go to the settings real quick, uh, is if you go into device care, we do have a brand new looking screen that looks pretty cool. So that's the old version that most people are gonna have right now. But if you have the beta, this is what you're gonna see. You have the battery icon, storage, memory, security over here. They are now listed from top to bottom in a list view as opposed to these buttons that are in one row. So if I tap on the battery and if I tap on this one, it's all going to be looking different. And as you can see, we also have a wireless power share feature here. So we, if we click on this, we are now able to make some modifications to the wireless power share feature. So you can enable it right from here. So this is how you enable the wireless power share feature. And then the charging will stop when your phone reaches the battery percentage you set, which in this case is set to be 30%. All right, so I can tap on this one. I can even go to 40% right here. So when I go to 40%, it says charging will stop when your phone reaches the battery percentage you set. So let's say I'm using power, wireless power share to charge some other device. Once my uh, battery hits 40%, it is going to stop uh, using the wireless power share feature to save battery on this device. So that's one change. Let's go back out here. Of course, we can see that there's a lot of things that have changed over here. We've got the power modes here. If I tap on this one, this one looks the same. It only looks different in the actual menu layout. I do like this a lot. Uh, if you tap this, nothing happens. But if you tap on battery usage, uh, it gives you a new graphic right here. If I tap on battery usage right here, uh, we get that old graphic, but here we have a brand new graphic. All right, so all these things have been enhanced. Again, we go to storage. We're going to see different uh, looking screen. You get the same kind of inf information on both of these devices, but this now looks more modernized, more up to date. Now, when I go back over here, if I go to memory, let's go, to that, go there as well. Again, it looks a little bit different than this one. Same information on both of these guys, but they look different. If I tap on clean now, let's see what happens. Again, you get a drifting gra graphic that shows as you're cleaning the memory, the RAM, all right? Has been cleared, has been cleared, all right? So that's fantastic. Uh, let's go to security, and this is what it looks like, the new security uh, screen. So that's another difference. Another thing that has changed is the full screen gesture. So if I go to my settings over here, and if I go into my display, and let's go to navigation, uh, it should be right here, navigation bar. And then again, let's uh, go over here also. I'm going to show you guys exactly what has changed. Let's go into navigation bar. So with this one, we have two options, both uh, the same thing over here. Now, if I tap on full screen gestures, uh, things are going to look a little bit different. Now, let's tap on this one. As you can see, there's nothing at the bottom here, okay? What I can do is I can enable the gesture hints, and I get three buttons, so I can get the recent apps uh, from here, or I can go home from here, 
or if I was in, in an app or whatever, I can go back by going like that, all right? Now with this one, let me uh, go back here, navigation bar. With this one, you only get to see one line. You can, you can cancel that, it's gonna disappear, but if you do enable it, it's only going to actually show you one line right over here. So that's one option you have. You can use this button to go home and all that good stuff. You can just go like that to the home, or if you just wanna bring up the actual thing. Let me go back to display over here for a second go into navigation bar, or I can just bring the multitasking just like that, all right? Now, one more thing, you can actually tap on more options, and you get to uh, choose this thing right here. You can go with this one, all right? So you can get the three lines over here, or you can use swipe from sides to bottom, all right? So that's fantastic. You can do uh, a lot more now with this new One UI 2.0, as far as customizing your navigation bar is concerned. Let's move on. Now, one more very important difference is if you go to the settings and if you go into the advanced features and if you go into motions and gestures, you have something known as the one-handed mode. A lot of people probably know about this, but some of you may not know about this. Now, the one-handed mode has been slightly tweaked on One UI 2.0. So if I go to the settings and if I go to advanced features, First and foremost, the, the one-handed mode is now gonna show up under motions and gestures right in the, in the main menu. So you don't have to go into motions and gestures, it's gonna be right there. Now when I click on it, you're gonna see we are able to activate the one-handed mode with different gestures. So you either double tap the home button, which activates the one-handed mode, so you can use the phone with one hand, all right? You can put it this way also, or you have the new uh, gesture tactic. So if I tap on this one, all I do is go like this, okay? So basically, let me go back there. Let's increase the size. Swipe down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen. So there's the bottom edge. You just swipe down, activates the one-handed mode, which is much easier uh, than the one that we had here. This one is button. You have to triple tap to activate that mode, all right? To deactivate, just tap on here. And the gesture was something like this. You have to go diagonally swipe up to activate it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now we have this gesture, which is very easy to use, or double tap, boom, boom, we're good to go. All right, so that's fantastic. Now when you go to My Files option, let me just go to My Files right over here, okay? So let's say you delete something in My Files. Let me just grab this, okay? Let me just delete this. I delete a file, it's gone, okay? So with the new My Files application that we have on One UI 2.0, uh, what we have is we have a trash function. So if I delete something, I can now tap on this button here and go into my trash, and I have to turn on the trash for the first time, and I can restore any deleted file. So let's go over here, let's grab this guy, let's delete this real quick, all right? Now let me go back out, go back to my trash, and now you'll see that that's restorable right from here. I can, I can tap on edit and I can say restore. It's gonna go back to where it, uh, it came from, okay? So it's, you're not gonna lose files like that. Uh, with this My Files, you do not have the trash feature, as you can see, uh, but everything else looks the same on the actual application for now, all right? We also have uh, something in relation to the fingerprint sensor. Now, first and foremost, the fingerprint sensor has been enhanced the security is now even tighter thanks to Android 10. But if you go to biometrics and security, security, and if I go into my fingerprints, let me dump in my password. Let me do the same over here, biometrics and security. Let me uh, go right inside, dump in my password. Now, if you see over here, uh, it says show icon when the screen is off. And we have the same option here, but when I tap this one, I now have three different options. I can choose from never show, or I can say tap to show the fingerprint icon or uh, show it only with the always on display, all right? So if I turn off the uh, screen right now, the always on display is gonna pop up in a second, but the fingerprint is gonna pop up too with the always on display automatically, all right? So that's another option that we have here, uh, a few extra options on top of what we have here already. So that's the fingerprint. Let's move on and see what else is new. Now, another thing that you need to know is when you uh, get One UI, Android Auto is going to be now preloaded as an application, so you don't have to download it ever, uh, all over the place. So let's see if I have it here. So I do have it here because I did download this. 
But when you have a One UI 2.0, Android Auto application is going to auto load on your phone. All right. Now, otherwise, if you look around the phone, uh, things look almost the same. Okay. There's not a huge UI change, but like I said, when you go to some applications, uh, things look a little bit different. Like if I go to the uh, device care again. That's one thing that looks a little bit different, all right? I like this new look much better. And if we go back here uh, with the digital well-being, it says now digital well-being and parental control. So you have a little bit expansion in the abilities. So we have this one and this one. If I tap on this, it's going to show you what you see right here, but it's going to look a little bit different, okay? Again, you can keep track of how you're using your phone with digital well-being. But at the bottom here, now we have the parental controls. Uh, if you need to access those, uh, should be somewhere here at the bottom, right here. So if I tap on this one, I can set up the parental controls using Google's family link. So we don't have that option here as of now. All right. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. I want to give you guys a quick update on what's happening with One UI 2.0. I'm going to make another video showing you guys how to actually sign up uh, for the One UI beta. It's only available in select countries right now. So not everybody's going to be able to do it. But if you are able to do it, uh, just stay tuned for my next video, which is going to show you how to get it done, how to sign up and get the One UI uh, 2.0 with Android 10 for the S10, S10e, or the S10 Plus. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.